any other terms and and tools and techniques that you want to tell us about that we might not be that familiar with already? Well, I want to talk about consolidation, mm -hmm. right? Um, I know, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of Barbados are feeling the pressure because, yes. you know, the cost of living is going up, our salary isn't moving, right? Mm -hmm. So if you are sitting on a credit card that's maxed out, or you have debt, like small little debts, whether it's back to school, right. travel loans or whatever, and there are multiple debts on your, um, you know, basically you have to pay back every month. Yes. You can benefit from something called debt consolidation. Okay. Right? Because once you take all of that, those loans, mm -hmm. credit card, which is a high interest earning. Very high. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you're looking at 20 to 25%. Mm -hmm. You pay off those. You may pay off smaller loans. They're on secure too. So the interest rate is probably about maybe 12 to 15%. Mm -hmm. And you put it under one vehicle, which is one consolidated loan, and maybe benefit from an extended loan tenor, then you're going to see cash kind of free up. Right. So rather than paying 250 on this loan and 1200 on this loan and exactly you could try to put them together probably get an x amount of time to pay them back and lower the figure exactly so when should when do you know that it's time to approach your financial institution and request consolidation like you know and also to when i approach them with that how is it all worked out Right. So the first question is, how do you know when to approach? When it feels tight, 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 tight. When it feels tight. <laughs> when you're at the point where you are only making your minimum payments on your credit mm. card, that is an indication that the debt has become too large. Yes. And there is a need to restructure. Okay. Right? If you're at the point where you realize that when you pay your loans, you have nothing left back. Nada. And it is a possibility for some Barbadians, right? Yes. No. How do you go around the process? Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important that you choose the bank, a bank that mm -hmm. can work for you and with you. I like you that. You're a customer. Mm -hmm. You're providing profits for these banks. The we bank are. We sure they need us. Yep. So the banks have to work with you, right? You go in. You let them know this is the situation, and you see how you can help. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're with an institution and they can't help. That's a good thing about Barbados. Mm -hmm. There's more than one bank. Yes. And I, I, I want to jump in at that point and say this. Um, Bajans, I love you. I love you to the bone. But sometimes you're all too loyal. You're all too loyal. Like, I, I know people, for example, who have been with X financial institution, you know, from the time they were, you know, le left school and they're sticking with them. And I'm like, but have you checked over here and over exactly. there to see if this interest rate is better or, yeah. or if they're more user friendly? So... That's something that we have to be reminded of. It is okay to shop around in financial world the same way you would with retail stores or services. Yeah, and I, I think it's even more important to mm -hmm. shop around. Yes. Because that will, every Barbadian has some type of debt mm -hmm. and it's taking away your wealth. When I say wealth, mm -hmm. you mean parts of your income. Make sure that you're getting the best offer. If you like, have a car loan, mm -hmm. why not look at it and say, you know what? Maybe I should move my car loan because if you get a lower interest rate, you automatically benefit Save money, yes. from a lower monthly payment, right? Mm. So you have to shop around. Even if you're at another bank, you see another bank offering something, you may not be an RBC client, but explore mm -hmm. and see what they can offer. And it can have a significant benefit to you because think about it. If you refinance a mortgage, mortgage can... The average person has been a mortgage for 20 years. Mm -hmm. Even if you save... Most 30. Uh -huh. yeah, even if you save $200 a month. Yes, it makes a difference. It makes a difference, mm -hmm. right? So switching and looking around and everything is to the benefit for everyone. All right. So once again, I'm with Miss sherry Ann Bourne, private banker, the most popular banker in Barbados as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and uh, she mentioned a word that I like that I want to investigate in the next part. Wealth. Stay tuned.